Hello and welcome to part 7 of the C++ coding homework uh, where we are doing Animal Crossing patterns. So far we have three patterns. We have our box, we have our X and we have our plus. And in this video we will do our draw bordered X. So what it is, is basically an X with a box around it. So imagine there would be line of X is here, line of X is here, and then also every first character of the row will be an X, and every last character of the row will be an X. All right, so we already have our box, we already have our X, so all we have to do is just combine those two. So I'm going to, again, borrow these two lines for the uh, output file we are opening as in append mode we are going to be adding to it not replacing it and we now need the classic uh, outer and inner for loops so you already saw me type it many times for integer r equals zero r is less than the number of elements and R plus plus and the inner loop for let me just scroll this up so you can see better for integer C equals zero C is less than the number of elements and C plus plus and inside of it uh, we will simply draw the box first so we will draw the first line the last line and every first character and every last character so we already have that i'm just gonna copy paste it no need to recreate a wheel so these are the two lines that uh, we need in order to draw the elements or, or the symbols for the box All right, so now that's our, uh, that will draw our box, and now we need to draw an X in it. An X, like we said in our previous videos, um, is basically it's the first character, then the second, third, fourth, and so forth. That's from the uh, left to the bottom right. And it's also the uh, last character, then 14, then 13, then 12, uh, all the way to uh, the first character from the the top right to the bottom left so we already have that and we can do that uh, this is our draw x so i'll copy paste these into our uh, if statements except it won't be if it will be else if and finally so this will draw the box the first two lines the other the other two else if statements will draw the x and in between if none of these conditions is true we will output the uh, fill character which is the blank space so it's gonna be the fill character all right so after our inner loop which is ends right here after that we will output a new line so after each row, basically, we will output a, a, output a new line. So the cursor moves to, from the end of the line to the beginning of the next line. And I can copy paste these three lines that uh, output uh, two extra uh, blank lines at the end of the file and also close the file the output file that is being opened for append here. So again, this moves, uh, this creates uh, a new, uh, move the cursor to the new line, and this creates another two extra lines after the whole pattern was already output, and then we will close the file. And that should draw a bordered X. So let's run and test it. Everything seems to be okay. Let's open our patterns.txt. Our box is there. Our X is there, our plus is there, and look at that, we have a box and an X in between. And we have it with characters of 
dots or periods because our force, uh, which is the border uh, x, our force pattern has the period as a as a drawing pattern. Well, let's let's say let's do I don't know. Uh, nah, that one. Let's do that and see if uh, how that looks. If it's gonna look any better, it looks kind of good anyway. But uh, so right now this is with the dots. But if I run it again, and it ran. If I do patterns that txt. Now it has this wiggly uh, character there. I think that looks actually even better. But so it's a box and an X, 15 by 15. So, all right, so that was our draw border X function. And in the next video, we will draw border plus, which is gonna be just a combination of the box and the plus that we already did. So stick around for the next video. I'll see you there. Take care.